All right, I'm gonna do a shoot here using my 7D and a 100 millimeter macro lens. If you don't have a macro lens, don't forget you can do it a lot less expensively using uh, uh, something like a 500D close-up lens that screws on to the end of your uh, zoom lens. Or you can use extension tubes. And both of those items are significantly less expensive than this 100 millimeter macro lens but this will work just great so if you don't have a macro lens check on extension tubes and maybe the 500d close-up lens uh, i actually have my uh, camera on a tripod here as you can see and underneath that i've got a glass dish suspended about oh i don't know what is it eight inches off the ground Got a bunch of colorful stuff under there, bottle caps, stuff like that. And in here I've got water with some olive oil. All right, so one little tip here. This uh, glass dish I have is only about an inch and a half, uh, you know, tall. And you want some distance between the top of the water and anything that might be on the bottom, like printed on the bottom or anything like that. So. You want uh, as much water as you can get in the dish, probably, uh, I would say, uh, at least a couple of inches, if, if not a little more. And I have two rather large, or I guess small lights, uh, lighting up the area. I've got my uh, 100 millimeter macro lens on, shooting with my 7D, and uh, got a ball head, and of course the tripod is able to do this, which is very nice. So I put some cooking oil or some olive oil in the water and I stirred it up a little bit, waited for it to uh, mellow out, slow down and stop. Now I'm going to shoot some pictures. So it's looking like I have to stir it up a little bit from time to time and move those things underneath the glass dish so they kind of line up but you can figure that out. I'm going to take a bunch more pictures here Well, that's been my attempt at creating a cool, colorful, vibrant image, not going anywhere, using all just household items. Now, I did use a 100 millimeter macro lens, but don't forget, you can use, uh, like I say, a Canon makes a, what's called a 500D, not the camera, but it's actually a close-up lens that you screw on the end of your lens like a filter. Or you can use extension tubes which uh, you can get for anywhere from very, very cheap to very, very expensive, uh, depending on the brand. So I don't know much about either one of those things. I don't have either one, but I know they will help you get this kind of shot. So give it a shot for yourself. It's been a lot of fun, and a couple of them turned out pretty good. Have a great day.